Since I've been uh, dabbling in music through most of my life, I've had the opportunity to play a number of Bach instruments. I've had a brief tootle on a Bach Stradivarius trumpet. Um, I've actually got, I was, got, I was given to me this uh, Bach uh, baritone with the forward facing bell. If you, It's in very poor condition, but if you look up in there, you might just be able to see the Bach uh, brand name engraved onto it. But this video is about a previous Bach instrument which I used to have, and that was a bass trombone, the model name of which was 50K3. The K in that model name stands for Bach's K valve. Now, I'm going to flash up some images here of what the 50K3 looked like, most specifically what my 50K3 looked like. Um, and it was a trombone which was a professional grade trombone, but it wasn't suitable for me. Personally, I thought the, the K valves were not very good. I couldn't see what advantage they had over to other valves. They had a whole lot of resistance, especially when you're using both triggers. It made it almost impossible to articulate cleanly uh, notes in the lower range that had both triggers engaged. Um, and the tone changes between an open instrument and having even just one trigger engaged and then both triggers engaged was quite pronounced. Um, it was a valve that, had I been better advised, I wouldn't have invested in. Um, they sort of fell on your shoulder like two offset Coke cans, uh, or pop, if you are of American inclination. And, um, yeah, the trombone came with an incredibly soft bell, a gauge 21 or 22, or whatever that means. Um, if you held the bell tightly in your fingers, you could see the ripples of your fingers pressing from within the bell. Uh, and you could see that from the outside quite clearly. Now, if you had the habit of resting a trombone on your knee, which is something that I don't know any trombonist who doesn't do, uh, unfortunately, with the 50K3, this part of the bell here got all soft, damaged, warped, um, and it suffered quite a lot of damage simply because it couldn't support its own weight when it was, you know, lightly placed on the knee, jogged up and down perhaps a little bit, but, you know, I'm not one to go woomph, um, but just stand aware and tear that the instrument's bell couldn't handle that. The craftsmanship on the trombone I thought was exquisite. Um, unfortunately, uh, there were some wear marks exhibited on the slide handles, um, on the slide braces and various other parts of the trauma, just with some general use for a, a couple of years. It was, it was quite surprising how quickly the lacquer started to wear off. Um, and it's for that reason that I'll probably never buy a brand new bark again. Uh, largely because I'm not a professional musician and I don't need a brand new bark. But secondly, um, my experience with the K valves has thoroughly put me off the instrument, especially, and not necessarily just the K valves, but the experience of having the lacquer wear off the hand grip after, you know, just a couple of years of relatively light use. I mean, I had this whilst I was in high school. The slide was exquisite. The slide movement was fantastic, but it just sort of felt like that central pillar of what the trombone was, was, um, covered in the moss of, of, of having, metaphorical moss of course, of having, you know, plating wearing off and having these K valves which dug into your shoulder in the most uneconomic, uh, most unergonomic way. Um, and even though the trombone was open wrapped, the amount of resistance through those valves was quite crazy. Now since that time I've had the, uh, I've had the fortune of playing with various types of rotary valves. I've played with Hagman valves, Thayer valves, um, and all of those valves, even the humble double rotors that I have on this Jupiter bass trombone, far superior to what, I've ex what I experienced with the K valves. So anyway, this video is just a brief video to talk about the 50K3 and specifically Bach's K valves. They deserve their place in history, but as a failed experiment. And I'm very thankful that Bach at least has removed that from uh, their product lists. So anyway, thanks for watching.